Now we're going to move on to typesetting and actually kind of putting together those two major components, the design file and the IDTT file. So we're going to go to the OTN typesetting, that document that you guys, um, the zip file that you grabbed from the sample file. Um, in our design folder, there is a template. Uh, I want to use the one that I provided as part of the sample file, not one of the ones that we just made. It's basically the same exact thing, but we want to start with OTN typesetting hyphen design dot INDT, which is in our design folder. And then the other file we're going to reference is in the IDTT file. It's just OTN uh, typesetting hyphen dot TXT. So for now, what we're going to do is we're going to open the INDT file. Let's click that. You, you should see that it looks basically the same as the files that we just made. And now we're going to flow text into the file. When I say flow text, I mean place the IDTT file. So let's go to page I all the way to the top of the book right there. Um, Command J will also give you the option to go to a page, but you can at this point just scroll up to the very, very top of the document. And then what I want to do is I want to get my cursor into this text box here. There's a text box in the bottom half of the page. So to do that, I will press my type tool, click into that text box. You should see a little linking cursor. That means that we are in the, the text box there. And then we're going to place the IDTP file. So again, with this box selected or with your cursor in this box, I'm going to go to File, Place. I will click that. Uh, we want to navigate to that sample, that uh, set of sample files. I'm going to go to the IDTT folder, select our uh, TXT file, and then I'm going to press Open. Now we should start seeing some text in here. Let me know if you guys want me to repeat that or, or walk through that again, or if you're not seeing anything, just let me know. But for right now, we should have a whole bunch of jarbled text here in our uh, different um, text boxes. Stop for a minute, and then when everyone's at this step, we are going to take a short 10 minute break and then get into what the typesetter does, what they're going to look out for, and we're going to go through some of these different tools that they're going to use. I know not everybody might have this at this point, we will definitely get everyone set up. Um, but for the purpose of the demo, I'm just going to kind of talk about what they do. So, give me a heads up when everybody is ready to go. So Tim, I was able to successfully paste the, mm -hmm. the content, but everything is highlighted pink. Yeah, so that, that's related to those missing font warnings. Right. Pink stuff just means that it's, you don't have that font. It's faking right. it for me? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, so that, like I said before, it's not necessary at this point. Um, if we were you know, typesetting, I'd make sure people got uh, set up. If you want to, there is an option to go to find font. Mm -hmm. And that's under type find font. And this only really pertains to the CC people. Because if you're um, synced to Typekit, you should have the option to sync those fonts. It's going to be the Expo Sans font that is the Typekit font. So you may have that option if you're, if you're signed into Typekit. Um, but for now, it's not necessarily crucial that you have that font set up and ready to go. Because the, the motions are going to be the same whether you have that font or not. <clears throat> Thanks for the reminder. Mm -hmm. 